Vanish Preserved or a Plot Discovered by Thomas Otway Characters Summary Analysis Hello and welcome to the discourse Vanish Preserved or a Plot Discovered was one of the most successful restoration period tragedy play that was written by Thomas Otway and was first performed in 1682 It is a political drama that gained momentum in the background of the Rye House plot which was a plan to assassinate King Charles II of England and his brother and heir to the throne James Duke of York People of the Restoration era also had strong memories of the popish plot and hence general public was enthusiastic about discovering plots against the state Thomas Otway depicted a lucid conspiracy of rebels to overthrow the state and how that plot was foiled Vanish Preserved have many similarities with William Shakespeare's Othello which was inspired by Cynthia's Hecatomethy. Shakespeare's Desdemona marries a Moor Othello against her senator father's wishes and Otway's Belvidera marries Jaffier against her father's wishes. Othello kills Desdemona and himself and Jaffier kills Jel Belvidera and commits suicide. However, unlike Shakespeare's Othello, Otway's Jaffier fails to gain the sympathies of the audience. Despite his tragic end, he fails to become the tragic hero Othello is. In fact, there's hardly any hero in Otway's Venice Preserved. The rebellions who conspire against the Senate are as greedy, power-hungry, tyrannical, immoral, and corrupt as the senators are. There's no better side, and thus Otway presented this drama as a street tragedy. A tragic lead is Belvidera who gains the all sympathy. Characters of Venice Preserved or a plot discovered. Priuli is a senator of Venice who is comparatively honest and less corrupt than others. He has a daughter whom he loves very much but not more than himself. Priuli can be compared to Shakespeare's Barbantino from Othello. However, unlike Barbantino, he doesn't conspire against Jaffe to get his daughter back. He simply disowns his daughter when she marries a man without her father's permission. Belvidera is Pirulli's daughter, a beautiful voluptuous girl who falls in love with Jaffier and marries him despite her father's resistance to the marriage. She is a benevolent, affectionate, constant and pure girl who is not gullible. She is intelligent and can be manipulative, but she is completely loyal to Jaffier. Belvidera can be compared to Shakespeare's Desdemona, but unlike Desdemona, she is not a passive tragic heroine. Belvedere is much more prominent than Desdemona. She recognizes the corruption of the Senate, but when she comes to know that the conspirators are no better, may be more corrupt and immoral than the Senate, she convinces Jaffier not to condone the plan of the conspirators, but to instead turn them into the Senate. Later on, she manipulates her father, who has already disowned her, to pardon Jaffier's friend who conspired to kill Priuli by reminding him of her mother. Though the pardon comes a bit late, Jaffier is the husband of Belvidera, who can be compared to Shakespeare's Othello. He is expected to fulfill the roles of husband, friend, and rebel conspirator. However, he remains confused and and cannot figure out the right path for him. He lacks any moral integrity. He also lacks appreciation for Belvidera's love, considering she gave up her father and privileges only to be with him. In addition, he lacks patience. Othello fell prey to the conspiracies of Iago, who filled Othello's heart with suspicion against Desdemona. However, Jaffier knows that Belvidera is always loyal to him, yet he decides to sacrifice her and threatens to kill her if she fails to get a pardon for his friend. Pierre is a friend of Jaffier. He can be compared to Shakespeare's Iago. He is a soldier of Venice who conspires against the Senate and plans to murder Priuli. However, unlike Iago, who had no reason to act villainous, Pierre has a proper reason. He is the lover of Aquilina, a high-class courtesan whom a corrupt senator Antonio exploits and uses for his lust. When Pierre comes to know about it, he complains against the senator to the Senate of Venice and asks for justice. However, the Senate ignores the charges and claims that Antonio's behavior was a privilege and title to the senators. This angers Pierre. As Priuli is a senator, he decides to murder him and brings Jaffier into the conspiracy by exploiting his hatred against Priuli. 
Antonio is a corrupt senator who is lewd, immoral, and lecherous. He exploits Aquilina and often treats women with disdain. He addresses Aquilina as his little Naki, which indicates a female genital organ. Renault is the bloodthirsty head of conspirators. While he explains the anger and frustration of Pierre and Jaffier for his purpose of attacking the Senate and gaining power, he is as corrupt and tyrannical as Antonio. He forces Jaffier to keep his wife, Palvidera, in his custody as a guarantee of his allegiance, and then he tries to rape her. Van is preserved as a street tragedy. Overall, Otway shows that none of the men treat women as they should. Priole disowns his beloved daughter for she disobeyed him and married a man she loved. To get his revenge against Priole to disown Belvedere and hence disallow, disallow Jaffir his share of Priole's wealth as his son-in-law, he decides to support the conspirators. When he is asked to keep Belvedere in Reynolds' custody, he agrees to that and effectively transfers his authority over Belvedere to Reynolds. The same happens in Shakespeare's Othello, where Othello leaves Desdemona in care of Iago. Jaffir later threatens to murder his wife, the girl who left her father and privileges to be with him. Pierre loves Aquilina, but he neither trusts her nor respects her. Pierre arranges meetings of rebels at Aquilina's house, but she is not allowed to attend any of those meetings or listen to anything related to their plan. Pierre never discloses his conspiracy to her as if she is untrustworthy. Aquilina is comparable to Shakespeare's Amelia, the wife of Iago, in Othello. Instead of vouching for his friend Jaffir's loyalty, Pierre persuades him to keep his wife Belvedere in the custody of Renault. Renault, who becomes the custodian of Belvedere, tries to exploit and rape her. The whole drama is based on the depiction of women as an object of lust and control, and Ote exploits this victimhood of women for the success of the play. Unlike Venice Preserved, Shakespeare's Othello doesn't depend on the pathos brought about by the unjustified treatment of women. Though the murder of Desdemona and the death of Palvidera both bring about the same degree of lust, Balvidera reminds Jaffir of Lucrece after she saves herself against Reynolds' onslaught and reaches him. Lucrece committed suicide and to challenge the standard that requires suicide of female rape victims, which seems a tacit admission of their guilt, she demands Jaffir take revenge. Her disheveled and unnerved state eroticizes her suffering, which is the main ingredient of a she tragedy. The rape attempt of Balvidera is depicted in such a sexually explicit manner that brings forth her sexuality. In the case of Othello, Desdemona acts as a passive victim. She is sleeping when Othello kills her and her murder is also depicted as erotic as it could be. Othello stands over his inert and sleeping wife and states, I will kill thee and love thee after. The situation is depicted as overtly necrophilic suggesting that Desdemona will reach the utmost desirable state after her murder, the state where she will be silent, chaste, and obedient. Summary of Venice Preserved or a Plot Discovered Jaffir is a poor Venetian soldier who falls in love with Balvidera, the daughter of a highly prestigious and rich senator of Venice. Balvidera also loves him, but purely her father is against this relationship. Nonetheless, she elopes with Jaffir and marries him, hoping that her father who loves her dearly will accept her marriage. Priole couldn't bear this and he publicly denounces and disowns Balvidera, cutting off her inheritance. This angers Jaffir as he hoped to get rid of his penury after marrying Balvidera, the rich girl. When Jaffir's friend Pierre comes to know about this, he decides to infuriate Jaffir more against Priole and for his own reason of revenge against the Senate. A corrupt senator Antonio has been sexually exploiting and using Aquilina, Pierre's beloved. Pierre complained against him in the Senate but didn't get justice. Thus, he made contact with Renault, a power-hungry, bloodthirsty conspirator who plans to overturn the government by attacking the senators. The most strong, most reliable, and most trustworthy senator is Priole, and if he is killed, Renault hopes that the general public will side with the rebels for the uprising. Pierre takes Jaffe to meet Renault, who manipulates him into murdering Priole. 
Zafir has his own motive if Pruley is murdered he is the legal husband of her only daughter and will get all his wealth in inheritance however Renault cannot trust Zafir as he is the son-in-law of Pruley thus Zafir agrees to keep Valvidera in the custody of Renault as a hostage until Pruley is murdered Valvidera is unaware of the plot but Zafir transfers her to Renault's place they plan to murder Pruley the very next morning When Renault sees Belvedere sleeping at his place, lust engulfs him and he attempts to rape her. Belvedere resists the and runs away in a disheveled, distraught situation. She reaches home and informs Zafir. Zafir tells her about the conspiracy. She asks him how could he support such wretched people who tried to rape his wife. She then suggests Zafir to turn coat and inform the Senate about the conspiracy to which he agrees. but he is worried about his friend Pierre. Belvedere then plans that Zafir will reveal the names of the conspirators and then will claim their lives as his reward and thus he will get a right to pardon Pierre and save his life. Zafir agrees and reveals the conspiracy to the Senate. However, the Senate doesn't offer him the reward he sought and condemns all conspirators to death. Zafir is distraught. He feels guilty of disloyalty towards his friend Pierre. He goes to Valvidera and curses her for making him the cause of Pierre's death sentence. He threat- threatens her that if she fails to get a pardon for Pierre, he will murder her. Valvidera is distraught. She just faced a rape attempt on her and now the man for whom she left her father and all privileges is threatening to murder her. She goes to her father who has already disowned her. Pruley discards her again and rejects her plea to help her by getting him a pardon for Pierre who conspired to murder him. However, Belvedere insists and reminds Pruley of her mother to whom he promised to protect Belvedere in all situations. Pruley submits and agrees to pardon Pierre. Belvedere runs to her home to inform Zafir but finds that Zafir has gone to imprisonment to meet Pierre. She follow, follows him to jail. Meanwhile, Javier Javier meets Pierre who is about to be hanged. Pierre is crestfallen as he failed to in taking his revenge. Furthermore, he is about about to be hanged and he will die a death of ignominy unlike a brave soldier in the battleground. He says that he has forgiven Javier but demand, demands him a favor and asks Javier to murder him with his own sword before he is hanged. Javier rushes towards him and stabs him with his dagger, killing him. Later on, Zafir feels such intense remorse for killing his friend that he commits suicide by running the same dagger on his throat. At the same time, Belvedere reaches the gallows and before she could inform that she has won the pardon for Pierre, sees the death of Pierre and Zafir both. This breaks her completely and she goes insane and dies. So this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.